trying to miss my round table and if i found if i find another round table again i'm gonna buy it this oblong uh, square thingy is not really working for me i just wanted a change from my last table and i just wanted a change of my whole life today my friend and i we were discussing how um we uh when the devil has mucked up your life nothing remains standing everything has to go no matter what it has to go because the devil always starts you at the very beginning with nothing and then you know you're just so tired you are just so tired that the idea of starting again from scratch is just uh, yeah it's hard and i thought i was the only one having that problem but she told me no mommy i'm also struggling with new beginnings because it's just a little it's more painful i can't find my clock there it is it's more painful and it's just oh my goodness welcome to the board of the bantu welcome to the truth the religion the spirituality it's the very existence of the Bantu. The Bantu are unique in that they do not look for men on the ground to tell the truth. They go into the spiritual to get the truth. And even I have used the spiritual for healing, for emotional, psychological healing. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't help, but I use the method of my ancestors asking my soul, why? Why did this happen? Why didn't? happy and with that we encourage everybody to seek emotional psychological help because oh my god without it you cannot develop and this is why psychologists and psychiatrists exist in our field this field right here called metaphysical science we come across those who could genuinely 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 flourish with just a, a psychiatrist or a, psycho, a clinical psychologist, if you know what I mean. So in this field of ours, even if you don't think you need them, it is essential to get counseling, either from one of us or from one of them, or if you trust your church, your church. Okay, let's have some good mental health. Mental health is a priority for me right now and we shall be having a clinical psychologist in Jamaica for a day of um, mental health, physical mental health. I wouldn't be a sangoma enganga in endu do do if I and a sangoma if I didn't mix modern medicine with metaphysicality. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be because you know God made doctors psychologists and psychiatrists to help people just as we exist to help people and together we can help more people than apart okay so welcome to our board and the board of the bantu is now open and i shall be screaming and fighting mental health i think from now to the end of the year it's so necessary we so need it all right, Nara Smith versus Onezwa. If you are, you don't know who Nara Smith is, or you don't know who Onezwa is, I suggest you just flip and turn off this right here, this reading. Turn it off. Turn it off. For those who know Nara, TikTok superstar, and Onezwa, huddle up close. Let us find out. If Nara is truly a copycat or Onezwa just imagined it, that shit can happen. Now, full disclosure, I am on Onezwa's side. I fully believe her, okay? Ain't nothing gonna rock my belief system except this right here, except our board, the board of the people. Nothing is going to be, because I have had so much theft on social media once you put something out there the things will come and when you are a black woman and you are from the third world the things are gonna sit on you like a thousand rats 
to one piece of cheese so that has happened to me several times so of course I am on Onezwa's side because I'm biased like that because Nara is wealth and power and Onezwa is more like me okay she ain't poor that bitch ain't poor she's got a garden I don't have a garden okay she ain't poor she's rocking it so she is like me okay so we are reading Nara and Onezwa and we're beginning right now and this reading is dedicated to South Africans to my father's people although he never acknowledged you and never wanted to he was unfortunate enough to get a daughter who became a Sangoma and I have to acknowledge you on his behalf okay <laughs> to the Costa the Jola this here is your table you are running this shit okay you are the shit that walks and talks okay okay this right here is your shit okay i was gonna be really quick about this so i am gonna be quick about it so i really do believe and nobody can tell me otherwise i really do believe that nara is very ugly okay i'm just gonna lay it out on the table like a deck of cards okay <laughs> and i'm also going to say that i tr i started this reading before then my camera died on me and when i said nara is very ugly the winds all nodded then i said she's like a neanderthal she has neanderthal dna and the winds said that's right that's right the winds agreed with their daughter Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> The wings agree with their daughter that Nara is ugly. Yeah, she is very ugly. Let me get an amen. Okay. <laughs> and people just they they are around her because of the what she sells and what she is. The girl was born to a rich German father and a mother who struck out. She got lucky. She met this German man. They fell in love. They married. So, you know, she was born to a very wealthy man and it shows in her pores. Her actual fingertips show wealth every time she's needing that dough, okay? Everybody is going like salivating. They're not salivating because she's needing the dough and they want to eat the dough. No, they want to eat her fingers. They want to eat her fingers because she represents the kind of wealth they are never going to come across in their lives. Okay. And that wealth was bred in her by her daddy. Nara will always be rich. Whether she works or not is irrelevant. She will always be rich because her daddy got that down pat. He's got his kids all provided for because he's a pretty old man. He's got his kids all provided for. So this is what people are looking at. They're not looking at her husband. They're not looking at her kids. They are looking at the luxury, the luxury of being born with a Neanderthal face and still be you know being able to afford anything and everything you want it's like an oxymoron a juxtaposition of reality but there she is she is um she is very it comes out through her and that energy of wealth it will carry her her entire life she will always make money no matter what it is okay nara is very very quiet this is all from the former whatever before the camera died because i don't pretend nara is very very quiet and she says she's very quiet because she's not very intelligent and we said yeah girl we saw that you were a dummy <laughs> yes we did we did she but she doesn't really need to be smart because her daddy is smart as hell and he he's got shares in mercedes benz or something he's smart as hell He's insufferable, not anymore now because he's older. He's difficult to live with. She said that. She said her mother found him difficult. But if she can live with with her father, she can do it with um, 
her husband because he's also difficult so people are envious of nara not because of her husband or her kids or the choices that she made to get married at 17 which i was i'm very surprised at because i was hypothesizing on my tiktok they actually envious of her because she oozes of wealth well she oozes off it and they 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 want to eat her it's not that they love her do you know how you you are so very good at something or you so have something and people they sidle up to you because they want to be like you and they think that if they are in your energy her money will just you know move on to them right and then they'll be like her then their ugliness will be covered up by money because that's what nara soul does but she knows she's ugly so we're good Alrighty, so that's it. That's why there's so much noise, and that's why South Africans have gone crazy over her. But pretty much, Onezwa took on something that other people want, and then she tried to remove the shine. And then those people are like, Hell no, I need a reason to keep sucking up to this bitch. Got it okay i hope this camera is taking i don't know i'm gonna have to take camera lessons anyway we're gonna call nara again nara 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 she's very quiet you know again i'm not gonna repeat that because we were the camera died when we were going for onesgua so next i'm gonna call onesgua she's not her husband makes her nervous but that's very interesting her husband makes her nervous he's very controlling you know he likes to have everything just so and what have you yeah whatever the thing is we're gonna call on Eswa. we we may look at nara and lucky blue because these are the up and coming stars right uh, we may look at, because she's gonna get a a a, a network uh, you know she's gonna get a cooking um program on one of these cooking networks okay just letting you guys know because we saw that so now we're gonna call onezwa onezwa is a chosen like myself she might be very hard to read <laughs> but guys i am going to go with it okay onezwa Onezwa. Onezwa. Oh yes. Okay, so Miss Onezwa walked in with a train of her ancestors. She's got a lot of power. Zoom. And then she started circling Anara. Zoom. Zoom. This woman has a temper. Oh yes, like me oh yes <laughs> she has a temper she has a ferocious temper and she has learned to hold it in check you know but sometimes that temper will explode she, cooking is her therapy cooking is her therapy to calm her down to bring her to that beautiful place when she's kneading and mixing things it's her therapy well girl at least you got something that's therapeutic i'm all for that shit. cooking is her therapy she says she doesn't expect to make a lot of money out of it she just expects it to give her peace of mind and one who can feed other people can pretty much get anything they want out of the world they can pretty much feed anybody anything okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she is circling so I'm gonna have to politely ask her to sit down okay Ms. Onizwa can you please sit down There's no hate in her for Nara, just tears. 
because she sat down they are just tears and she's being protected by her ancestors i told you <laughs> it's very hard to read the chosen nobody ever gets me right and i knew i was going to struggle okay i knew i was going to struggle nobody ever gets me right so it's like her ancestors are blocking her from me. the jola don't play that shit parts like the red sea parts like a woman's thighs about to give birth <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah part we want to talk to all this but they are like blocking me and blocking nara so she's angry and she's like you know like in the you know in this in the spiritual you be in the you know when you heave it <gasps> she's angry so she points a finger at nara and she goes thief! you would be and nara blinks <laughs> And Nara said, I don't know where they get that from. I don't know. I just do as I am told. When you accused me, I went back to your channel to look again. I am just told this is what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So we're asking it. So why, 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 why were you on her channel when you first wrote that? Well, people were sending me things about her. And I went to look because people were tagging me to her. I should have known. What should you have known? I should have known they were getting it from somewhere. They told me to lower the register of my voice because it would be very luxurious. And then they told me to wear proper designer clothes and sexy clothes because we can get money from the brands that I wear. They told me what to do. I don't really cook. I don't, I don't really like cooking that much. Uh, but it seems it's something you can do when you're a wife and a mother you know it goes with the portfolio but i don't really like cooking i'm like my mother i don't like cooking so okay so we kind of knew that nara didn't know much that it was her production team it was her people so anyway in the in this here place in this here room of the joy okay Oneswa has said Nara is a thief and Nara has looked spaced out. Okay? So now we're looking at the relationship. Nara, show me your relationship. Nara and Oneswa, show me your relationship. There's no relationship at all. Zero. Okay? Nara and Oneswa, show me your relationship. Nara and Oneswa, show me your relationship. Show me. There is something that's not being said. Oh Lord, that's why we just said we take a little time because really. This is Onezwa. And she's only got two shells on her side. This is Nara. And Nara has got a lot of shells on her side. Of course, we know that Nara was born to money and she's raking in money. She's not going to be as famous as they, what they are aiming for her to be. She's going to just quit after some time. Right? So this is Nara. Nara is totally ignoring Oneswa and Oneswa is totally screaming at the top of her lungs. What she is saying though, what Nara, what Oneswa is saying is getting right through to the highest person in Nara's um, management team, not to Nara 
himself. Okay. Let's say boo. <laughs> yeah. Nara doesn't know that shit is going on. She doesn't know. The person who is talking to Onezwa is Nara. Is uh, Nara's manager. Nara's manager is replying that email was definitely from Nara's manager. They sent missives to 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 Onezwa and Onezwa replied. They sent misses. They are talking to her. One, two. A lawyer. A lawyer is, is also talking to him. And Nara has one person. You know, Nara, not Nara, Onezwa has one person who is also talking. It's like they are talking to her. They are reaching out in a thousand different ways. Uh, Onezwa is not listening. Onezwa is just talking. She's not listening. Does, does this make sense what I am saying? She's not hearing them. She ain't trying to hear them. She ain't trying. So they are sort of like threatening her. But guys, do you know that this woman knows exactly what she's talking about? Do you know that Onezwa knows exactly what she is talking about? She can sue these people and take all their money. They stole from her. They stole from her. She literally has them by the balls. She can sue these people for stealing her content and she will win and she will get the money. They are Screaming, screaming at her, like, go away. You know, they are threatening her just to go away. And guess what? Miss Napra has no clue. No clue. She's not in this at all. This is Miss Nara over here. She has no clue. Okay. So I think that we have proved our point, or what we wanted to be proven has been proven. On that note, thank you so much for joining us, South Africa and um, America and all Nara fans and all Onezwa fans. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope that uh, we got a clearer picture, you know, of the fight. Honestly, it's very hard to read a chosen, but this chosen is very determined. She's very straight laced, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that she's very straight laced. She's very rigid. She's very like right is right, wrong is wrong. I used to be like that when I was her age. You know, she is very straight laced. She is very you're not gonna fuck with me, okay? You fuck, you know. She's very very straight laced. She's very fascinating. She cries a lot. She, she cries a lot. Something that we all do. Uh, all the chosen. She cries a lot. She, she, her heart is broken. Her heart is very broken. Just like the rest of us. She, she, she misses the life that she gave up for her calling. She misses it. She doesn't think it was worth it. Giving up her life for her calling. But anyway. This is Ms. Onezwa. Okay, I hope to meet her someday. So she lives in the Eastern Cape, which makes it awesome. Okay, I hope to meet Miss Odeswa. And those of you who watch, who have watched me, you know, tell her I said hi. Okay, thank you so much. Be kind to yourselves, people. Be kind to yourselves. You cannot be kind to other people if you're not kind to you. Be gracious. Be gentle with you because you're that important. You're really, really, really important.